Hello there, I am Silver Sarcasmic and welcome to niche, niche, niche. I, I always forget how to pronounce this word. But uh, basically it's a survival game. It's like a top-down turn-based survival game, which in itself is a really interesting idea. And I've had it for a while, I've played it on and off, uh, but I haven't played it in a long time and I realized recently that the full game came out a couple of months ago. And uh, I decided to try it out because apparently all the stuff is working. Unfortunately, I did actually record this previously, but the audio wasn't working. So I've played it. I have played a little bit of this game, like just now, but unfortunately, that will not be able to be uploaded, which is really sad. See, that's what it is. The world of dogs. Uh, and that was just a really old world that I had a long time ago. Which, it's really unfortunate that I can't... I, I tried something different with the audio recording, and that just didn't work. Let's just call it, uh... I don't know. <laughs> world of Dog V2. Let's call it... Sarcasmic World. Haha, <laughs> that sounds like a... A theme park. I'll do sandbox mode later. I really want to finish this story because I, I I started it and I saw this cute I saw this amazing little introduction <clears throat> introductory video and I really wish I still had my first reaction of seeing that. Ah, because the problem was it was with the audio. The audio didn't work correctly, so. I had all the video correctly, but this is such a beautiful intro. Just all of the art style and the animation is just amazing in this. Just look at that. Ah. And that is Adam, who is like the quote unquote main character. Oh geez, that's a noise that I don't remember hearing. We're alive! We're alive! Ah! Aww, it looks so cute. Like, who would not want to have one of those as a pet? That looks adorable. I like how, I like how in the tutorial it's like, ow, that hurt, falling from 20, 20 feet, ow, jeez, man. Alright, so I've actually seen all the tutorial stuff already, so let's see. So basically, I'm, oh yeah, I'm too young to actually do anything. So you see if you can still walk. So I guess you can't actually skip the tutorial, so let's just go along with it. Collect some berries. Next day. Now I'm a little older. All right. Now we're going over to the port. Oh, oh crap. It's the next day. Alright. Alright. Traveling. Now, I don't actually remember being that good at this game, but that's just... Oh yeah, and here are the different... You can actually look... This is smell and this is hearing. So you can smell for... Oh, it actually looks different. Ooh. When I first... Whenever I played this game a minute ago, Eve was a different character. Or, it, like, she looked different. Did I... Did I do it right? Wait, I, I don't- oh yeah, I did do it right. I just changed the day for no reason. <laughs> okay. So, I need to move over here, and you need to go right here. Yay! Making babbies. Wow. This one actually looks really cool. The other one had spikes and stuff, but this this is cool. 
Oh yeah, and how the nest works is you can make one. Oh, this isn't a nest. What am I thinking? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Oh, that was loud. I need to turn my volume down. Now, the reason I'm starting a new story is because... The reason I'm starting a new story whenever I would previously recorded this and gone through part of the story mode is I really want to see how it ends. I really want to see if there's any, like, story arc to it. If there's any other cutscenes that you can unlock, because all I've really seen is the next couple of islands and that for like the first beginning area and the next couple of islands. So I haven't really seen anything else story wise, and I really want to see if if there's some sort of continuation of the story. Okay, or if it's just like it was whenever I last played it, which I think was a- it was a long time ago. I think it was nearly a year ago last time I actually sat down to play this. Uh... But whenever I last played, there wasn't a story. There wasn't- there wasn't that initial cutscene and there wasn't any of the, uh... Tutor- any of this tutorial stuff. Oh, right. So basically how this game works is it actually works, it actually uses real life DNA sort of science where there's like dominant genes and uh, yeah see, complete dominance, incomplete dominance, co-dominance. And then it's got mutations where you can, you can select a certain gene for, to mutate in your, uh, in your offspring, which is really interesting. Now I'm just gonna grow my pack a little bit. I'm going to collect some food, first of all. So that I can actually raise some babbies. And it's raining! Uh, wow, you're a red boy. Ta wait, what is- Takirku! Hello, Takirku! Welcome to the world! Should have been named Clifford. Goodness gracious. Your face is so big! <laughs> uh, something doesn't look right here. Uh, that doesn't- Uh, that doesn't seem to- That doesn't seem to- be physically possible. It's like that- what was- <laughs> what was that old horror movie where like the kids heads just started turning endlessly? I never watched it but I hear people talking about it as a reference for things happening, I don't know. <laughs> Eve is the only female in my entire pack. What the heck? I need more females! Stop making so many males! Oh my goodness, I got twins! Huh. They're both males, also. Why do I have so many males? I need- <laughs> I need more females or else I will not be able to continue this tribe. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and continue. I don't think all of these people will actually continue with me. I don't think- I wonder if it's just these three that are gonna come with me and the and the rest are gonna be left behind because it said that you have to be on the You have to be on the flower port to be able to leave And everyone else is gonna be left behind, but I'm gonna go ahead and travel to the next island Because I have been there way too long. I still don't have another female. Okay, so I got five. So there are five- there are five- there are five little- little fluffers with me. And, uh... That's what I should have named you guys. I should have named you guys the fluffers. Even though you have very odd back feet that I just realized are there. I need to find a nest 
Because I need to make another female of the tribe. And Eve is gonna die soon from just old age. She has three days left. No, she's an old woman. Alright, I need to... Oh wait, you can make nests, can't you? Oh crap, I forgot about that. Here. Oh, how do you get nesting material? Crap! I only have eight! Gosh darn it! I have nine! I need one more! One more nesting material! Yes! Okay, now I can make a nest. Sweet. I probably shouldn't have made it there, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Yeah, see, this looks different. So I guess it's just randomly generated each time you play this game, which makes sense, but... Oh, what the heck? What's wrong with my baby? Low immunity, or infected by another animal. So it just says low immunity. Oh no, it's got the cold. It's actually reducing his life. Goodness gracious. That's a, that's a pretty terrible common cold that it actually takes away days of your life. And Eve is dead, and we still don't have a female. What the heck is up with your ears? Holy crap, that's amazing! Big ears? That's awesome. I love it. You're so adorable. Holy crap. You look like a fennec fox, except red. I love it. Too bad you probably won't survive that long, because... Our tribe is not going so well. Not really. This is how my games usually end. I'm just like, why isn't this happening? And then I just die. <laughs> Everything just dies. Uh, I'm so good at this game, guys. And he's infected! Crap! I forgot about that. Wow, you must be really- it took away two days? What the heck? Oh, kill this guy. Get some food. Cause I know you can- oh, uh... No, I can't hear any other members of the tribe. Let's just like, travel through the grass. And see if we can find... Hopefully a female. To continue the life of this tribe so we don't all die. There's literally not a one. Not a singular one. <laughs> I'm so good at this game, guys. No! Our tribe is gonna die because we don't have any females! Oh, I think the cat is pawing at my door. So if you hear a sound similar to a cat pawing on a door, that's probably what it is. Oh! Oh, I found one! Yes! Join the tribe, please! I was about to move to the next island because we weren't able to find anyone. Oh wait, no. Join the tribe. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Now we need to find a nest. <laughs> oh crap! The infection is spreading! Oh no, I didn't realize that it could actually spread to other members of the pack. Crap! Everyone's sick! I'm s oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this. I swear, the last time I played this, when the audio was cut out, it was so much better. <laughs> uh, I guess I was- You know what? I was probably just lucky the first time. That's a high possibility. I was probably just lucky. Who are you? It's another female! Who- where the heck are all these females coming from? Get in our tribe, right now. 
Oh, but I can just go ahead and make a nest now, can't I? I have 12 nesting material, so... Yeah. You can make a nest. I wonder if I can walk my way... Oh, nope. They run away. Which makes sense, but I mean... Ooh! Oh no! Le oh, I never realized that her name is actually lame. She's literally lame. That's kind of rude. Your parents were very mean to you whenever they named you. <laughs> all in all, this is a really interesting game. I mean, it has really interesting mechanics. It's, it's turn-based, which is something I've never seen in a survival game before. And uh, the fact that you can control all of these characters at once is pretty cool. And they follow your... They follow your cursor around. Wherever your cursor is, they're looking. Oh, look at your little faces. Oh, geez, your eyes are white. That's actually really cool. What is up with this guy? Hold on. He looks like a... <laughs> he looks like a mushroom. <laughs> it looks like a mushroom from uh, Minecraft. Wow. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> Aw. My little guy. Someone die? One of my animals died? Oh, the one that was right there. How? Why'd he die? What happened? There's the skeleton. <laughs> first death. Well, actually, not the first death. I, I lied. Definitely not the first death. Oh, darn it! Okay, I think this is enough for the first episode. This isn't as far as I got last time, but I decided to stop it a little, little sooner just because I spent a lot of time in the first episode, and I don't have as much time now, unfortunately. But, uh, hopefully next time we can get past where we were before, which I... I still don't know if there's actually any, like, I'm really interested in figuring out if there's an actual arc to the story. Uh, if there is some kind of, like, challenge that we have to face or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually, I suppose. But, uh... I had a lot of fun. This is this is a fun game. This is a very fun game. I it's very calming, but it can also get like really really tense at certain points where you're like, "Oh crap, I got to do this certain thing." And uh we've saved ourselves from extinction by finding two females at once in an area that definitely did not have any females before. <laughs> or any 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 rogue any rogue creatures. So I don't know if that I don't know if they just randomly spawn or we were just blind. But uh I had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun. And uh I'll see you in the next video. Bye.